what do Canadians think about Trump versus Biden? I guess it's a well, pretty broad as question. as a representative of all Canadians, <laughs> no, just kidding. I mean, yeah, I want to be mindful that, you know, we're just two people in Canada. I think people probably know our political leanings. We've done the political compass test and things like that. People know we generally lean to the left. And I think most of the people listening to this right now are probably left-leaning people as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, you're wearing red, though, Ben. I wear red. Why are you wearing red, Ben? What are you trying to It doesn't to mean tell anything. Us? There's sometimes it doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> uh, I think most of Canada. I saw a tweet the other day where I guess some people had done opinion research on like how other countries would have voted if they had the choice between Biden and Trump. And I, I don't think Canada was on the list, but it was more oh. about like European countries. And overwhelmingly, these countries are voting for Biden. What percent? Over Trump. I think there was a lot of like 70, 30, 80, 20 type deals, like no question there's, and I, I saw some conservatives replying to this, like, like we get it. That's the point. That's why we're American. We're different. So like, I'm not saying you mm-hmm. should listen to that, but I think that means something. And I think you'd have something similar in Canada. You'd probably have 70 to 80% of people who would probably be inclined to vote for Biden. But that's not to say there isn't a significant number of people who probably would maybe lean towards Trump. I don't want to pretend we're Mm -hmm. all a bunch of lefties here, right? Like, you actually see a pretty similar divide in Canada of, uh, there are three provinces, there's Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta, in kind of the middle of Canada, that typically vote conservative Kind of like middle America. Federal elections. It's kind of like your middle America. They're just reliably going to vote for the conservative party. What is that with people living in the middle of a country? What uh, is it? (laughs) I mean, the rural. uh, (laughs) Rural? Is that it? (laughs) There's definitely like an urban rural thing that's Mm -hmm. so clear in the the U.S. results, right? Like people are dancing in the streets of major cities and you look at a map and like everywhere where the population density is under a certain number is just all red and mm-hmm. voted for Trump still, right? So in Canada, you're there's something pretty similar. similar in Canada too. So I, yeah, I don't want to discount that there is maybe uh, a not insignificant number of people who maybe would have voted for uh, a Trumpian figure. Although I will say, so there was the closest thing we ever had to a Trump in Canada was Kevin O'Leary. Do you remember this? So yeah. If any of you watch Shark Tank, I think is the Dragon's show. Dragon's Den? Or Dragon's Den both? was the Canadian version, then Shark Tank in the US, I think. But okay. uh, Mr. Wonderful, he's <laughs> the Canadian version of Trump in the sense that like uh, all he cares about is money and he's kind of mean and arrogant. And he's a businessman. <laughs> he's a yeah. businessman. And he ran for the leader of the Conservative Party a few years ago. And that didn't work out for him. He wasn't successful in his bid to become the nominee for the Conservative Party. And uh, I think a lot of people point to that to be like, look, we can't end up with like a Donald Trump type figure in Canada. That said, it that came kind of close to happening, I guess. But I just don't think enough people would were, were receptive to yeah. that sort of idea. And then I also think it's worth adding that, like you could say, how, how would Canadians vote um, Trump versus Biden is a different question than how many Canadians vote conservative versus more liberal, right? Mm-hmm. Because I think that on average, Canada is more liberal than America, sure. but our conservative party, like the conservative platform here, is far less conservative than Americans' Republicans. So there's yeah. kind of a shift. So although maybe it's, I can't remember the results of the last election, was it like 30 or 40% voted conservative? I don't know. But I would take that number and then decrease it by a lot if you were going to ask, would you have voted for Trump? Yeah. Because even though there's conservative leaning people here, I still Mm -hmm. think a lot of them would think Trump's or the Republican Party of America is too conservative for them. Yeah, I think you're right about that. 